this is one of many, many lifetimes. And but the only one that matters is this because one. all of your power is right here and now. This is where your focus is. And everything that you've lived, your inner being has become. And your inner being is standing there vivid, the totality of who you are. The furthest, most representation of the evolution of that which is you is your inner being. And the question is, where are you in relationship to that? Okay. <laughs> so my inner being is everywhere. My inner being is has been always is and will always be yeah Ooh. <laughs> I love that and always aware of you and where you are in relationship that everything that matters to you so I have come here to simply live the contrast and the experiences and for the fun of it you've come here to discover a new desire to which you can move toward because that is satisfying you've come here to discover desires that you can move toward so that you can feel the satisfaction in other words joyous expansion that's what you are about we say there's a triad of intentions freedom and growth and joy and humans say we hear you Abraham growth 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 we say yeah freedom and growth and joy yeah we hear you growth 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 <laughs> freedom you're so free you can choose bondage growth is inevitable but if you're reaching for joy or that satisfaction factor now you've got it all together you see so it still feels unsettled uh, what's on your mind all of these things uh, a lot uh, but you've you the big one about aligning with my inner being I, I really I really love and that. not just conceptually and not just generally now 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 in other words your inner being is right with you in every moment not abstract right with you in every moment focused upon whatever it is you are focused upon and your inner being has a presence and a knowing and an attitude and an opinion about it and is offering it to you and where are you in relationship to that in other words if you're loving oh you're right there if you're defending if you're justifying I just know that I am living medi an, a mediocre life compared to what my inner being well you know what you always will be if you're gonna put it in those terms so here's how it works you can like this contrast causes you to know what you don't want and know what you do want well at first what you do want is weird because you know what you don't want more so this is your natural proclivity but now you've been listening to us and you're wanting to think about what you want and why you want it and so you line up with it and now you're a vibrational match and then boom that manifestation happens not only does the manifestation happen but now you have a whole new set of contrasting experiences so you know what you don't want you know what you do want you launch a rocket of desire but you focused over here rather than over here but you want to feel better so you focus over here you get feeling better you've achieved vibrational alignment Boom, the new manifestation happens and a whole new set of contrasting experiences and on and on it goes eternally which means there is always going to be a gap between what you've launched and what your inner being got hold of and you're catching up with it but hear this it's the catching up that's fun that's the best that's part nice. of life but I want to be there now but you're crying about it <laughs> and it's moving toward it that is fun and you said just now what we were accusing you all of you want to go right from the vibration BAM to the full manifestation no you don't no you don't you want the exhilaration of getting to witness your own expansion as it comes into place as it comes out to play with you first in thoughts and then words and then deeds and then manifestations that's what you want I just need to be patient I, I'm enjoying the ride I just but you know what when you're moving toward what you want you don't need to be patient you are we don't want you to be patient patient is enduring moving in the wrong direction and putting up with it we don't want that if you feel impatient you're not satisfied choose satisfaction over impatience by finding some way of explaining to yourself that it's unfolding and that it's fine yeah and being grateful yeah no. because you see mm -hmm. what you're demonstrating here and it's real what you're feeling is this belief that you have that you're here to get it right and we say you're here to just continue to be you're here to joyfully evolve and you can't even begin to get it right till you get it a little wrong you don't even know what right is if there isn't wrong 
You didn't know what light is if there isn't dark. You don't know what sweet is if there isn't sour. You don't know what enough is if there wasn't not enough. It's all part of it. What is has got to be enough because it's all you've got access to in any given moment. If there wasn't some place to go, you would be so bored. <laughs> <laughs> it's life causing you to want something and then you finding a way to get moving in the direction of it and then feeling that satisfaction. And yes, we know what you're talking about because on some subjects you are magic on some subjects you line up so easily the thoughts flow easily things unfold for you and you want that on all subjects we understand that but just remind yourself of the laws of the universe and compliment yourself as often as you can about how well you're doing and acknowledge how many things are going the way that you want them to go we began this discussion by talking about step five really step one is you ask and contrast is necessary to do that step two is source answers and puts it in the vortex and it's a done deal even though you can't see it and step three is you get into the receptive mode mostly by meditating there are other ways but mostly by appreciation is another way but meditation is a sure way and then step four is you get really good at that step four is mastery of step three funny that we would name a whole step just for doing the step before it well but you're just so good at it sometimes you just reach for a better feeling thought sometimes you meditate sometimes you do a focus will sometimes you call somebody who's always happy and you just talk to them for a minute sometimes you go get a massage or you take a swim in other words anything that you can do to make yourself feel better that's mastery that's that mastery that we're talking about just want so much to feel good as much as you can and have so many tricks up your sleeve to do it that you just nearly every single time can get there if you want to that's step four that's that's mastery of step three and step five is being back in a contrasting moment and loving it because you know the value of the contrast oh good one day Esther was dusting an etager full of collectibles Jerry and Esther had collected them for years precious things yard rose and Sabino glass and some Dom and all the special things that both of them had enjoyed as they gathered up along their physical trail and they were all on this etager and Esther went to dust it and it had little pegs that glass was sitting on and Esther didn't realize that every time she dusted it it was moving a little more off its peg and so this one day she just reached her hand up and laid her dust cloth on it and that was the last bit of holding that it had and this very heavy top glass slipped off its peg and crashed to the next which crashed to the next which crashed to the next and Esther standing in her bare feet and Jerry heard the crash from the other room and he said don't move because he imagined she was standing in shards of glass stuck in the wooden floor all around Esther and Jerry walked into the room and Esther was standing there in shock and horror and Jerry said oh good more things to want <laughs> oh good more things to want their collectible shelf had been all collectible out <laughs> they were having a hard time finding a place to put a collectible oh good more things to want more things to focus upon more things for the universe to bring to us more things for us to enjoy the journey toward more things to enjoy the journey toward not more things already manifested I'm a sculptor and I've created this magnificent sculpture do you like it it's the only thing I'm ever going to make <laughs> it's that good <laughs> oh are you going to make anything else no nope. that's it for me <laughs> that's it for me worked on it for quite a while it was exciting in the beginning <laughs> there it is <laughs> anything coming next no no it's just this <laughs> I believe in life purpose and when someone's found their life purpose I think they should just do it and I did it and there it is <laughs> of course we're being silly but that's the way so many people behave 
it's like they don't realize that if there's not constantly something more that you've launched a rocket of then there's not more energy calling you and if there's not more energy calling you then there's no life flowing through you and if energy is calling you and life's flowing through you and you're going it's great but if life's flowing through you and you're not going then it doesn't feel good and you can't shut it down because the contrast will make certain that life is always flowing through you the contrast of this magnificent perfection of creation that you're all a part will make certain that that there's constant new energy flowing through you so you don't have a choice about that you can't stop wanting you can't life's gonna make sure that you continue to want but you do have the option of going with it or not which means feeling satisfied or not it's simpler than you thought isn't it enough yes this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment